Okay, so welcome back. Um, today we're going to be working on creating this tire uh, for the Automoblox wheel and on shape. And so this is what it'll look similar to in our final product. Um, and there's some things that we're going to focus on in this one. We're going to focus on the mid plane extrusion, the circular pattern tool, um, and then sharing a sketch um, within on shape. So we're going to be able to use a single sketch for this entire part and I'm going to walk you through the general way of doing that um, and again this th this is kind of translating for distance learning the material written for Autodesk Inventor into Onshape um, so we're going to start off by creating a new part and again make sure that you're if you're one of my students make sure you're doing this in the um, in the correct folder I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to say create a new part <clears throat> Pardon me. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just start a new sketch. Um, and we're going to create uh, three circles in this sketch. And if we look in the, in the drawings here, it is pretty detailed as far as uh, the dimensions that you should be using. So I'm not going to go, again, I'm not going to focus on the dimensions of this. I'm going to focus on like the general tools that we're using. And it's got to be your job to uh, read those dimensions. Okay. So we're getting away from the super hand holding, um, you know, put this number in here. We're, we're getting into general tools here. Okay, so we started a sketch. Uh, this is nothing new. And we're on the front, um, the front plane. And we're going to start off with a couple of circles. Okay, so we're going to go circle, a circle, and a circle. All right. And so this is, this is going to be, those are our three circles right there. All right. And then we're going to go back and we're going to put in some lines. And the line, the, these lines are actually how we're going to use our, um, or how we're going to make the little notch that's in the, uh, that, that we're going to use for our pattern. Okay. So we're going to use that little notch in there. And... Again, I like doing this all in one sketch. It's totally possible to do it in one sketch. Um, and then I'm going to trim off some of the some of the things that we don't need. And I am going to put in um, some of the angles in there because I do want you guys to know how to use an angle. So on shape and, and both on shape and Autodesk do this, where if you click on two lines that are not parallel to each other, it will automatically put in um, a degrees. And, and this one happens to be four degrees from center and then the other one as well. All right, and then I do want to trim off some of the unnecessary um, set line segments. So I'm just going to hit my little scissor trim tool up there. And we're going to trim off everything that we don't need. Okay. So we don't need anything but the two line segments in there at that four degrees. Um, and now we're actually ready to start our extrusions and start using our pattern tools. So this is, um, th again, this is a really simple shape once you see the process of doing it. Um, but again, you guys are going to have to go back in, for my students at least, you're going to have to go back in and put in the correct measurement. So make sure you're doing that. Um, the, the first extrusions, though, if we look in these directions, it, it says to... Um, the part does not need to be created with exact dimensions uh, for the extrusion, but as far as the distances, um, I do want, as far as the, the dimensions for the circles, you know, the diameter and the degrees, I do want those to be exact. But the first extrusions, I'm not super worried about it. Um, but again, I do want the circles themselves to be dimensioned correctly. So the extrusion you can estimate. So for this one, uh, we're going to do an extrusion, and again, we're using the mid-plane, so the symmetric extrusion, and I'm going to say that it's one inch, okay? And so we have our one-inch circle there, all right? But now if we look at it from this angle, you can see that our sketch is gone, and we want to be able to use that sketch again, so we just need to go over here and click Show Sketch, and now we can actually reuse our sketch. And so now we're going to hit this little notch, we're going to do a symmetric extrusion again. And I want to make this one a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to say the last one was one inch. So I'm going to make this one 0 0.9 inches. All right. And so now I've got that little notch in there. 
okay? And so after we've got the notch in there, we're ready to actually start getting into the pattern. So we want to repeat this pattern here, all right? And the circular pattern tool works in a very similar way on Autodesk. Um, but since we're using Onshape this year due to distance learning, we're, we're looking at this pattern right here. So we're trying to get those notches all the way around. And we're looking for 15 of them. So we're going to go up here to our uh, pattern tools. So it, it defaults to the linear, and we're looking for the circular pattern. Okay. So we're doing circular pattern. And instead of part pattern, we're going to do feature pattern. And we're, so we're looking for a feature um, that we want to repeat. And then we're going to go select the extrusion. So instead of trying to select the extrusion over here because it only gives us faces, we want to select our second extrusion. Okay, and then we can select the axis. So you so click on your axis, select your um, the the direction that you want to to follow, and so you can see it put our our four in there. But we don't want four; we want fifteen. So we're going to say fifteen. Yeah, okay. All right, so now I've got my little notches in there. And again, this doesn't look exactly like what's in the picture over here because I didn't put the correct dimensions in for the circles. You guys are going to have to do that. Um, and then the last one we're going to do is that little ridge. If you look closely in the drawing here, the, the example, there's a little ridge in there. And we're going to reuse our sketch again. So we're, we don't have to make a new sketch. We can still use sketch one, and there, there that extrusion is. So Or there's the, uh, the sketch. So we're going to click on that sketch. And we're going to do a symmetric extrusion. And you can see how it's too large here. So we, I'm actually just going to estimate this one as 0.1. Um, and you guys can use that estimation if you want as well. But then I've got my nice little ridge in there. Okay, so now I'm done. Like this, this sketch is, is completely done. The cool thing about doing it all in the same sketch is... If I go back here, and I'm taking a risk because I, I didn't actually pre-practice this, is if you go up into sketch one, and we do actually start putting in our dimensions. So if I say that this is 0 0.03 from this one, okay, and then it's going to shrink it way down. And then I say this the outside offset is 0.1. All right, and then I do my overall dimension at 1.650. And then it, it, it changes all the dimensions in that. I can go back and fix those dimensions, and then voila, it actually changes it to be the correct dimensions. Um, so. You can use you can use that. Um, I'm not looking for it to be exactly like what's in the picture here, but I do want to see 15 in there, and I will be looking in your sketch to see if you have the correct dimensions on that on the outside of that. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in class in a minute.